All right, we'll see how the sound comes out on this one. Okay, here we have Pip once again. Um, now, we've made a number of modifications since the last video. Um, notably, we've now got five ultrasonic sensors taped around the front with insulation tape, and well, actually four at the front, and one at the background here. And this thing here is um, magnetometer and accelerometers built into one package. And we've also got now the VGA port and USB sticking out the back for convenience. Um, as before, the shark bus is all built in, it's got the lid on. Um, I've also stuck a web camera at the front there, um, which we've now got. I've also recoded all of the software for this in C instead of Python, so that the uh, little tiny embedded CPU stuck away in there. You can't see a thing. Um, stuck away in there has now got enough grunt to actually run the video as well and there we have the video up and running so the first thing I'm going to do is start up the control software and we know this is up and working now because we can see our ultrasonics are flashing away quite happily and um, showing us that things are up and running the next thing I'm going to do is start up the graphical user interface I've written for it. Um, I've used some example Python code for this which is why it's got a punch the monkey game built in but in particular we've got the readout from the magnetometer, the readout from the accelerometer and these bars here are the different ranges from the ultrasonic sensors so I'll turn the wheelchair on now and it goes into human attendant mode um, and I've got things rigged up on this joystick again so now we can watch as we drive the wheelchair around we can see the uh, bars on the ultrasonics go up and down as we get nearer and further from obstacles so there we are we're pretty much parked in a corner there and all the bars have gone short uh, we can reverse back here now and we should see there we are different things at different distances near or far away so and that's taken me I don't know about 20 hours to rewrite all the software I had in Python into C code instead and to um, subvert this little punch the chimp game into the graphical user interface um, the video is pretty pathetic at the moment but it is a lot more responsive than it used to be um, sufficiently so that I can actually drive around using the video without crashing which is quite something particularly when you've got the ultrasonics as well to tell you how far away from things you are so I'll end it there because um, you can't really see when all the lights are on but hopefully if I dim the lights you can see that the wheelchair actually has some quite pretty blinking lights on the corners there looks quite nice at, in darkness um, and we still get our video feed up and running and I discovered that this torch that I've got happens to fit perfectly not that you can see much there you go, in the place where the footrest is supposed to clamp into place so with the torch in place on there um, I've actually got quite a fun vehicle for exploration so we can take this round and drive about here we are going around the office um, which is quite fun and obviously the other side of this story would be the doing it all with the live video feed so we'll drive off towards the ice machine oh, there we go We're looking well on target here as you can see our ultrasonic ranges suggest we're probably just about up at the wall there and we can come back out a bit oh. uh, accidentally reversed into a computer there oh, hit the ice machine um, not concentrating on my driving trying to make a video for you guys instead uh, there we go I should uh, really send the robot out into the garden where there's a bit more space to play so I might do that now and I might just make another video of that for fun anyway that's about it for now um, hope you enjoyed it and here we 
are. Arrived safely. Back at the door to the office. Hello, Pip. All right. 